quite a bit. Okay, uh, he is getting the mines coming up now, uh, and he has wedged his way Ooh. in between the second and the third base for Classic. Classic in some hot water. He needs us to stop this attack uh, immediately, and it looks like he's trying to buy some more time, maybe try to get that other Immortal out, but I think the damage being done here is actually too much, too too quickly here from, uh, from Maru. Oh man, still the charge is not done. This is oh the longest God. charge in the history of the world. Yeah, look, and at I think those look how many sentries he had to warp in. Yeah. Those could have been good units. Yeah, instead of buy time units. Yeah. And I don't know how many more force fields oh are really going to be left here. Um, the tanks are in a very good spot. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the Zelt's flank. coming in here from behind. Oh my god, here he comes, just pincering everything. It's definitely a very strong flank. A ton of Zealots still left over here. Notice how he's keeping in the back where the Immortals can't quite hit him. He's going to regroup. Um, of course, when Terran does an attack like that, they've sent out so many SCVs yeah. that economically they are limping through the game from here on out. It's 26 SCVs to the 50 workers of Classic. We already see Classic with about a 35 supply lead overall. Now going into DTs, which he can absolutely use to try to mm. control the map and control the pace of this game here. DTs feel like a game winner. Like he's yeah. doing two things that are game winners here. It's 2 2 and it's DT tech. Yeah. And like when you brought out that many SCVs, mules are even more important than before. Uh, and you're going to be playing aggressively. So just like if you have to scan at home and your army, that's too much. You can't do that with two command centers. So that's fantastic. And then, of course, if he just sits here and gets to 2 2, there's no comeback potential anymore. He's up two upgrades. Yeah with charge lots. And like. the Terran is punished for not trying to go into a more traditional yeah. late game. Okay, here we go. Uh, the Zealots just shredding through those infantry. Morrow with very little that's actually remaining here. Classic simply has to wait and pick fights that seem to uh, be ones he can trade effectively in. And the sand is running out of the hourglass here for Morrow, for sure. Yeah, this is not going as well as he would hope. Like, Deer, I mean, a Classic rather, is barely losing anything. With all these force fields, with two immortals on the high ground, that many charge loss, his 2-2 two is about to finish, his DTs are coming in. This is one by one, he can he can feed these DTs into Morrow's base. Morrow will be forced to scan, and the result huh. will be he'll have a smaller army later on. Even one DT actually with this army. Yeah. Looks like it's on a move command, not actually attacking yeah, yet. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, and I, I just don't see a bright future here for Morrow. I think we're going to have to go to game three. There it is, GG, classic. Takes game number one. Uh, it's crazy. Imagine Marl goes down there and he's like, oh, he's making a nexus here. You think it'll be Oracle or Void Ray? Um, I think Void Ray. Maybe Oracle, then Void Ray. Hmm. I'll just name everything. You're like, like I Void think Ray, he's then going Oracle? proxy phoenixes. He's going to make a phoenix and then a Void Ray? He's going to make a Tempest there and do a Dorati build. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, work oh, in that's a Void Ray. Position. Yep. Yeah, I like the Voidery build anyways. I feel like this is one that you should, like, in a group like this, this is the fifth PVT that Classic is playing. Yeah. 20% mix-in rate of this build. This is, like, one of the hardest things to stop I have ever yeah. seen is this well, build. Classic is interested in getting out of this group, smashing Mara with a proxy, and then peace with a round of eight. He has this mapped out really well. Yeah. Look at the placement. It's exactly he just barely doesn't can't see, see anything. Yeah. It's like, all right, your leftmost building should be your geyser, so just has that map. Dude, this is going to be so scary. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The heart <laughs> palpitation, no doubt, felt by Morrow here. Yeah. Now he's going to try to maybe shimmy the Widow Mine over to this position. Uh, oh, he, he oh. didn't actually do this quite right, I think. Look at this, he's trying to get the mine to, he's trying to get the probe in to get hit by the mine. That's so cute. Oh, but yeah, the probe right. can't quite do it. Just can't get okay. close enough. The objective's uh, gonna shade in. I love it. Taking it's... one for the team. Okay, now he can actually chase the mine out. Yeah, if he can actually kill the mine. Oh my god. Look at the range on that shield battery. Yeah, it's pretty sick, huh? This is brutal. That's it, GG! Yeah.